Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel, nice to see you again. Uh, in this video I've been doing a little bit of internet shopping and we've been on Wish and I've bought a couple of products for this tank here. So this is my little um, office tank, office aquascape tank and we're replacing the light today and I've been on Wish and I've found some very cheap, in fact how much were they? Let's have a look. Six pounds each, six pounds, I paid nine pounds, they're even cheaper now. But we'll find out if that's a good deal in a second or not. So these are the Virgo Concise Perfect. Super slim, super bright. There's another bit. Professional for aquatic plants. So that's got to be good. Um, they are, in essence, nice, cheap LED lights. They look good, certainly from the pictures anyway, they looked fine. They claim to have some kind of waterproof rating, but I wouldn't trust that as far as I could throw it. As always with the products from Wish, well, not always, but as usually, um, we have got the weird foreign plug. Um, but the lights themselves, if you don't look too closely, they actually look all right. They're plastic, it's plastic construction, but it, it looks like it could be metal. Um, we've got a fairly rudimentary, shall we say, clip to attach to the glass. Um, no screws or anything like that. Uh, and then we've got this, what is it, 6x4 LED arrangement. I think the white around the outside and four in the middle are blue. Um, yeah, I mean it's fairly straightforward. It's a bit of bent plastic with some LED lights put into it. So you can get adapters and sometimes they come with them. They didn't in this case, but I have plenty of these lying around which we could use. It just makes it a little bit bulky, so I'll probably clip these off and replace it with a normal UK plug. Just wire it into that. So I'll do that magic off camera. As always, you're taking a bit of a gamble on quality. It takes its sweet time getting here. And then how long is it going to last? These are your, your main concerns, but looking at this, it claims to have a waterproof rating, but it's not one that I, I'm familiar with. But I can see everything's covered with these plastic shields, screwed in quite tight. It looks fine, and for what it is, it's a fairly simple thing. Um, I've gone for two of them. Uh, I just thought I'd try adding a bit more light, so this is to replace this one light here. The idea is that we'll have two and hopefully get a bit more coverage towards the sides of this tank. So that's what we're going for. Um, I had hair when I ordered these, and that's how long they took to get here, but if it only costs less than a tenner, or even less than that, well, can't complain so far. Let's get them on. So this is what I'm trying to replace, this one light here, which is fine, and it is doing a decent job, but I'm seeing most of the growth in this tank happening here, which is obviously directly under it. Not so much off to the sides here and here. So I'm thinking by replacing this with two lights, I could have got a bigger one obviously, but I thought I'll try these wish lights, see how we're getting on. Um, so the plan is, put new plugs on, take this light off, put new lights on. So we'll get the new lights in. And there we go, they're in. It's a fairly simple process getting them sorted over. Um, I'll need to check the video, but I think that looks better. Certainly there's more light getting to the outer edges. Fairly simple install, uh, I forgot to mention earlier, they do work with timers because each of them's got an actual physical switch on them. Um, quite often when you buy these lights, um, it's like a touch button or a sensor that turns them on, so if you want to keep them on a timer, um, it, it just doesn't work because they, their initial state is off. But no, these have got physical switches on them, so they're doing well from that point of view. Like I say, they're pretty flimsy, but strong enough for what they need to be. It looks, so I'm looking at the back of the camera right now and it looks like they're kind of splayed off at funny angles but in real life they're not so I'm hoping that's just a, a trick of the the lens. I don't know this might be the first ever Wish product I've bought that's actually good. From above you can see it's just really simple straightforward lights yeah. I mean, I'm not expecting miracles. People pay hundreds and hundreds of pounds for lights. Uh, and it looks like you can get both of these for 12 quid. 
so I'm not expecting them to be up to the rigours of some of these things and they are marketed as uh, planted tank lights and I'm sure they will grow plants but that old adage you get what you pay for and when you're as cheap as I am you don't pay for much but I'm pretty happy with that like I said before um, you won't be able to see from here but you've got the four inner LEDs are blue LEDs the rest are white um, and I think that gives a good look to the tank it's a fairly accurate representation from the back of the camera to what I'm seeing in real life. These plants here, they've been doing really well. And the grass will probably do for a little bit of a trim, but we'll get to that at some point. There's my little star trying to show off for the camera. At the price point, I think I'm pretty pleased with that. Um, it hasn't burnt down my house yet, nothing's exploded, and it is actually doing what it's meant to do. That's it's a pretty good rate for Wish products. Information's a bit sketchy about these things. Um, they claim on the box and on the website that each uh, lamp is 10 watts. So, by comparison, the old one I think was 15 or something like that. So, I'm using a little bit more power, but I'm getting a lot more light, or I think I am anyway. Um, I can't tell what colour pink you guys, I don't have a meter or anything like that, but again, information's a bit scarce. It mentions things like uh, high brightness and good colour temperature. <laughs> um, again, does can does claim that it will help stimulate photosynthesis of plants and blah 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 blah. They've obviously just copied that off somewhere. It's an El Cheapo LED light. Um, I think it would be perfect for nano tanks because it's really quite light and there's no weight to it at all so even if you didn't have a, a good thick sturdy tank like this it would do the job there and um, I can see that if you had any kind of bracing it wouldn't really work because there's no adjustment to the, the clip there um, it just it is what it is so as long as your glass isn't too thick you should be fine um, but I can't go wrong with that I've been running them for a little while now there's a little bit of heat on the top, but not to the point where I'm worried about it. Um, yeah, cross my fingers and hope that we've got a nice new solution. Um, what do you think? Is it a win or a fail? I'm sure time will tell. Anyway, just a quick one today. Thank you very much for joining me. As always, if you haven't already and you like this kind of aquarium related nonsense, click that subscribe button, make sure you hit the bell so you don't miss any future videos. And we'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.